Here in this question on the equation of a line, we are asked to find the equation of the line, which has the same gradient as 8y plus 4x is equal to 24, and the line also passes through the point minus 8, 12. So, the understanding that we need to have to try and solve this type of question is to know that whenever we are talking about two lines in which we are looking at them to have the same gradient, like here, we are told that it has the same gradient as 8y plus 4 is equal to 24. So, we can have a pictorial view of something like this. If you have a Cartesian plane and we are looking at the vertical axis and the horizontal axis, if you have defined a first line, we we'll say this like a particular first line. If we define it as y1 is equal to mx1 plus c1, in which here c is an intercept and this is the y axis and here is the x axis. But now we are being told that this particular line, just like we are given in this equation, has the same gradient with another line. But we are not told that that other line passes through a particular point like minus 8, 12. Now this is what we are going to have. That means both of those lines, like the first one we are giving, and the other one that we have just like this, you can see, it means that it is the second one, and we have it like y2 is equals to mx2 plus c2, in which here, this is also the intercept, that's c, for the second one, and we have the s-axis and the y-axis. The thing common to the two of them is that for them to share the same gradient, then the slope of the first one is equal to the slope of the second one. So, M1 is equal to M2 for them to have the same gradient. So, once we have this particular understanding, it will make our work easy because what we now need to do is that from the first equation, we can find the slope by writing it in the order Y is equal to MX plus C and then since we know the point that we are given for the second equation, we just interpolate those points with y and x and use the gradient that we have gotten for the first one. So, so for this particular question, we are given that 8y plus 4x is equal to 24. But we want to look at a means in which we can arrange like y is equal to mx plus c. And we can say this means that 8y is equal to minus 4x plus 24 and that is obtained by moving 4x to the right hand side and now we can see that if you want it to be y is equal to ms plus c we should divide this equation by 8 the left hand side and the right hand side each of the entities in fact we can divide by 8 and if we do that we are going to have something like this 8y over 8 will be y okay is equal to minus 4 over 8x plus 24 over 8 in short let me just put the first one also as this is also 8y over 8 we are dividing each of the entry by 8 therefore what we have is that this 8 and 8 we cut so we have y is equal to minus 4 over 8 is the same as minus 1 over 2x then 24 over 8 is 3 so this is the alternate representation of this equation that we have here, instead of writing 8y plus 4x is equal to 24, we can write it as y is equal to minus 1 over 2x plus 3. Why did we do this? Because we want it to look like y is equal to mx plus c. And you can see from here, what are we noticing? We are noticing that this means that our m is equal to minus 1 over 2. And this is what we need to use for the other equation that's why we are able to that's why we are trying effortlessly to make sure that we express it in the form y is equal to mx plus c so having done that we cannot look at the means by which we can get this other equation that is passing through the point minus 8 comma 12 so what i want to make use of is this general equation that the change in y is equal to m multiplied by the change in x and what's the meaning of this? This implies that y minus y1 is equal to m multiplied by x minus x1. So, why is my y1? Why is my x1? It is the same as what we are giving here. This that we are giving 
is the same as x1 comma y1 so x1 is minus 8 y1 is 12 so here if you want to plug in those values as appropriate you can just say this is now going to give us y minus our y1 is 12 so we have 12 is equal to what's the value for our m the gradient that is minus 1 over 2 multiplied by x minus x1 and that x1 is not 8 it is minus 8 so we need to put it appropriately as minus 8 and this will mean that we have y minus 12 is equal to minus 1 over 2 multiplied by x when we say minus minus 8 it's like we are multiplying two negative numbers okay and the product of two negative numbers is a positive number so we have this to be plus 8 okay so having done that what we can also do is we can cross multiply these two at the numerator these two at the denominator can be used to multiply the whole left hand side so we are going to have something like 2 into y minus 12 is equal to minus 1 multiplied by x plus 8 so again if you expand that bracket you can see 2 times y will be 2y 2 times minus 12 will be minus 24 is equal to minus 1 times x is minus x minus 1 times 8 is minus 8 okay so now we want to just leave y on the left hand side and take the other number this minus 24 to the right hand side so we are going to have 2y is equal to minus x minus 8 but now it will be plus 24 because initially it was negative when it moves to the right hand side it will become positive and that is the same thing as saying 2y is equal to minus x minus 8 plus 24 is plus 16. I want to write it in such a way that we will express it just like we express the first one and to do that we can just divide each of the entry by 2 and if we do that that means what we are going to have is that here yeah, these two can cancel so we have y is equal to minus x over 2 is the same as minus 1 over 2 x okay then 16 over 2 is 8 and like this we've been able to solve this particular question correctly and you can see look at the two equations here we have the slope to be minus half and here the slope is also minus half it's only the intercept that is changing in the first case the intercept is 3 but here the intercept is 8 so this is how to go about solving our question and the correct solution is y is equal to minus half x plus 8